Hello and welcome to a tutorial about the Dewey Decimal Classification System. My name is Nicole Nichols and I am a librarian at your library. So you may be wondering why you should learn the Dewey Decimal Classification System. Well, one of the first reasons is, a main reason, is because the decimal system, the Dewey Decimal System, uh, makes it easier for you to find the resources that you need. Most public libraries in the United States use the Dewey Decimal System. There is another system called the Library of Congress System, but that's mainly used in academic research libraries. And it also saves time. If you already know how the, decimal, the Dewey Decimal System works, then you may not always need the assistance of a librarian to find what you need. You can go directly to the computer catalog, find the Dewey Decimal number, and locate your resources yourself. So now I'm going to tell you a little bit about the history of the Dewey Decimal Classification System. This is Melville Dewey, and he is the inventor of the Dewey Decimal Classification System. He invented the Dewey Decimal Classification System in 1873. Um, it is the most widely used system in the world. Um, it's been translated into over 30 languages, and um, it is maintained by the United States um, Library of Congress. And as we said in the, the slide before, it is uh, the most widely used system and it is used in all types of libraries, including public, um, K-12, and academic libraries. Also, um, another fact about Melville Dewey is that he is one of the founders of the American Library Association and um, he is one of the, considered one of the fathers of librarianship in America uh, because he has, through his contributions, he has taken, like, he took librarianship from being just a hobby to being a full-fledged profession. Okay, so now we're going to talk about the 10 classes within the Dewey Decimal Classification System. There are 10 um, the Dewey Decimal System works on a number system, and so we're going to explore that and see what the 10 classes are and the numbers that they correspond with. Okay, first we start with the, the zero, zero, zeros. Okay, these represent computer science and also just general information. So, for instance, if you need a, a resource about um, how to set up your new um, Microsoft Office software, or if you need a, you know, some general information about um, in an encyclopedia or uh, something that can be looked up uh, quickly, that would be in the 000 section. Okay, now we're going to talk about the 100s. This is for philosophy and psychology. So if you are looking for books about personality and temperament, or if you're looking for books about Socrates or Aristotle, those would be in the 100s. The 200s are where we keep the religion books. So, of course, if you're looking for the Bible, the Quran, or anything about Buddhism or Hinduism or any sort of uh, faith, then you would go to the 200s. Okay, in the 300s, we have the social sciences. So that includes anything about criminal justice, anything about politics and education as it relates to society. Okay, so the 400s, that's where we have things about languages. So if you're wanting to learn a new language, say you want to learn some Japanese or you would like to learn some Spanish or you would like to learn some French, you would go to the 400s section of the library. Then there's the 500s. That's where the natural sciences and mathematics are kept. So anytime you need any help with, if you're in a class where you're learning algebra, or you may be doing some kind of chemical um, experiment or reaction, or you might need to look up something about um, cells and cellular uh, makeup, 
and biology, then you would go to the 500 section of the library. And the 600s is where we have technology. Now this category is a little weird because some of the things that are within the within the 600s are not what you would typically think of as technology. Uh, you would think about, um, you know, computers, things of that nature, but that's really not um, all that's in uh, the 600s. So one thing that's in the 600s that people don't really think about is was called animal husbandry. So if you're looking for a book about pet care, that would be in the 600s. Say if you get a new dog and you want to know how to, uh, you know, you need a quick guide to get started with caring for your dog, that would be in the 600s. Um, now something that would be expected in the 600s are books about engineering. So if you're considering a, a career in engineering or if you're an engineering student, then 600s are where you would go. And another thing that's not very expected is fashion. Anything about fashion, textiles, um, is going to be in the 600s. The 700s. That's going to be about the arts. So, of course, that's going to have your, this is a painting by Picasso. So, if you want to know anything about his work or want to see a book with a collection of his work in there, uh, that would be there. Um, if you want to learn how to play the violin or learn more about uh, music with the violin or, or more about the instrument that would, books about that resources would be in the 700s and also live performances anything about live performances would be in the 700s in the 800s that's where we're going to have literature and rhetoric so um, poetry and also um, Shakespeare's plays and um, anything that's having to do with different types of literature, um, you know, and even literature that's in different languages are, are going to be in the 800s. And then lastly, the 900s. We've got geography and history in this section. And so if you are looking for, um, you know, any sort of um, world, you know, history of any particular country or world history altogether or um, anything of that nature, um, this is where you would go to the 900s. Okay, so within the within each class of the Dewey Decimal System, there are smaller divisions. So the first thing is that each major class is going to be broken down into 10 divisions. So these are the divisions listed here. So for example, I took the language class, the 400s of, for languages. So as you can see here, um, this is broken down into 10 different um, levels. So 410 is linguistics, 420 English and Old English, 430 Germanic languages, 440 Romance languages or French, 450 Italian, Romanian, uh, Reto Romantic, 460 Spanish and Portuguese, 470 Ital Italic Latin, 480 Hellenic languages and classical Greek, and then 490 is other languages. So um, this is, you know, you, you so basically what, what happens is you start with a larger category. The 400 is the large general category. And then now you have some smaller categories. And then it even gets categorized even smaller from there. So each division that we looked at the divisions within the 400s, so each division is then divided into smaller, 10 smaller sections. So for example, let's look at 490, which was the other languages. So then you, as you can see under 490, you have the specific other languages that you can find within the 490 um, numbering. Okay, so now we're ready for a quiz. So you have a worksheet that you uh, with you so that has five questions on it, and we're going to do the first two together in this presentation. So basically, what we're going to do is we're going to um, look at this question, and we're going to try to figure out which general class. We're not going to get too far into the different divisions and stuff, but we're just going to think about which uh, class the um, topic would be that's represented in this question. So the first question is. A friend of yours wants information about how to take care of her new poodle puppy. Where do you think the dog care books would be? So we talked earlier about 
um, the different category, the different classes and what goes into each class. And you said that, you know, sometimes there are things in a class that you wouldn't expect to be in a class. So this would be in the 600s. If you were looking for dog care books, they would be in the 600s because that is considered animal husbandry and that is categorized under that label. Okay, we'll try one. So if, if you, you would like to do some in-depth some in-depth research on scripture that you studied in your church's Bible study, so where do you think the Bible study books would be? Okay. They would be in the 200s because the 200s is a broad category, the broad class that contains everything about religion. Okay, so how did you do? I hope you did well. So if you have any other questions, um, here are some uh, resources that you can use. Uh, the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign has a great guide uh, about the Dewey Decimal System. Uh, they have all of the classes listed with all of the divisions and then all of the uh, smaller sections listed under there. It's a long list, but it's a handy list to have so that when you're looking for a book, um, you can kind of predict where it would be in Dewey and be able to find it easier. And then also I included a fun um, way to remember the Dewey Decimal System. This is a video by um, a, a librarian named Scooter Hayes and he goes by a YouTube name and he also does rap albums called Melville Dewey. And so he has a rap song on YouTube where he raps through the Dewey Decimal System and goes through the different categories and the classes and then gives you some examples of what will be in each class. So it's just, so that's just a fun way to, you know, you can kind of go back to that and watch that and kind of, you know, get, that's a fun way to kind of remember, um, you know, those basic classes. So I hope you learned something today. I hope this helps you to be able to more, to utilize your library a lot more efficiently. Uh, thank you for listening and have a good day.